Evans Deacon and Company was an Australian engineering company and shipbuilder. Topic history Based in Brisbane, the company was formed in 1910 by Daniel Edward Evans and Arthur Joseph Deacon. The company started out as a supplier of engineering equipment. The first workshop was acquired in 1913. The company later became Evans Deacon Industries. Edie. In 1980, Edie purchased Meribara Rolling Stock Manufacturer Walkers Limited. In July 1996, ED purchased locomotive manufacturer Clyde Engineering. In March 2001, ED was acquired by Downer and Company, with the resulting merger being renamed Downer ED. Between World War I and World War II, Evans Deacon was involved in the fabrication of 300 railway wagons for Queensland Government Railways, the manufacture of steel components for the Story Bridge, and the introduction of oxyacetylene and electric arc welding to Queensland. Topic: Kangaroo Point Shipyard. At the start of World War II, the company established a shipyard at Kangaroo Point on the Brisbane River, taking over the Queensland government's lease of Moore's Slipway beside Cairns Street, 27.4727 degrees south, 153.0379 degrees east, minus 27.4727, 153.0379 Evans Deacon Kangaroo Point Shipyard, which was then owned by the Brisbane City Council. The company developed the site for the construction of military and merchant vessels. In January 1940 the first ship to be built at the Evans Deacon shipyard was announced. The ship was the first 1,200-ton oil fuel lighter for the Royal Australian Navy, which was then using 500-ton oil fuel lighters. Named the Rockley, it cost £38,947 and pumps to enable the rapid refueling of warships, a major expansion at the Kangaroo Point site when the Frank Nicklin dry dock was constructed costing $3.4 million of which $1.5 million was contributed by the Queensland government. The dock was 800 feet 240 meters long, 115 feet 35 meters wide and 21 feet 6 .4 meters deep and could handle vessels up to 60,000 tons. The dock could be filled in 6 hours and emptied in 23 hours. The dock was officially opened in July 1967 by Queensland Premier Frank Nicklin after whom the dock was named. In his speech, Nicklin said it was important that Australian developed greater shipbuilding capabilities as Australia had been isolated from large shipbuilding countries during the two world wars, which was compounded by Britain's withdrawal from the Far East. Nicklin then pressed a button allowing the water from the Brisbane River to flow into the dock. The company built the largest ship ever made on the Brisbane River, the oil tanker Robert Miller. Its construction was nearly complete when it broke free of its mooring during the 1974 Brisbane flood. The final vessel constructed at Kangaroo Point was the oil rig, Southern Cross in 1976. The Evans Deacon Shipyard constructed 81 ships between 1940 and its closure in 1976, including 11 Bathurst class corvettes, a Bay class frigate, and several attack class patrol boats. They also built trawlers, steamers, bulk carriers, tankers, and tugs. After being left vacant for a number of years, in 1988 the shipyard was redeveloped as a hotel and apartment complex called Dockside. One of the dry docks was retained as a marina. There is a monument to the Evans Deacon shipyards in Captain Burke Park at the eastern end of Holman Street on the tip of Kangaroo Point 27.4657 degrees south 153.0367 degrees east minus 27.4657 153 Evan Deacon's monument this is further north than the original site of the shipyards 